You know it's Fifth Avenue, Cooper Square, with a mango twist. Every coin we act so the vocal cause you say it's fabulous. Can you use it? To me, Irish hip hop means it means that there's a platform there, there's, there's somewhere that we can go and we can play these songs and I'm not just playing them in bedroom, putting them up on YouTube. People look at me and say, oh, what's he doing here and how's he here and how do he do this? And I keep saying it to people, I'm just like, oh, I'm not doing anything, I'm being myself, I'm being a tastemaker, uh, I'm trailblazing music in Ireland like no one else is at the moment. To keep it real with you, not taking shots at anybody, but I don't feel anyone's doing what I'm doing. Irish hip hop is a community, it welcomes you, it, it makes you feel like you're a part of something that's way bigger than yourself. To sum it up, I'd say Irish hip hop means more to me than what anything ever meant to me before. The hip hop scene in Ireland means a lot because it's the, it's the genre and the scene that I'm involved in and the scene that I'm trying to create material to, to make it grow and, and create more popularity of for us so it's a huge deal to, to myself and, and you know the people and the friends around me and stuff like that and building kind of a team now pushing forward in it so it's building relationships and it's uh, it's important in that way kind of keeping connections with people and growing as an artist. Don't get me wrong I'll rock a suit the odd time but nine times out of ten when you see me I'm it is what it is. You can't force somebody to be good it has to be organic you know it has to be organic it has to come from the soul it has to be real and if it's not then it doesn't really last. All you gotta do is look at uh, all you gotta do is look at Conor McGregor. You know he's um, he's unapologetically Irish, so I don't get why you have to pretend to be something else. And I never have got that. You know what I mean? I've never got why you have to pretend to be something else to be accepted. Just be yourself, and if they accept you, they accept you. That's the the greatness of it all. So don't worry about trying to impress other people by being a fugazi and pretending to be something you're not, because at the end of the day, it's not going to work out. The only issues in the past were maybe production value, you know, with videos and tracks and mastering and mixing and stuff, the nitty gritty of it. But I think as a, as a whole, the scene is kind of pushing forward in all aspects. You know, the, the material is a lot is a lot more mixed down and clean. The videos are a lot more cinematic. The live performances are a lot more engaging with the audiences. So I think we're after building a, a, a lot over the last few years, everybody involved in the scene. So there's no major issues. I think it's just, marketing and getting it into the right hands and getting it to the right ears, you know, that'll really push you forward soon. They're looking at people that are regular people, like people that they grew up with, say, like, oh, I know him, I lived around the corner from him, or I live in his estate. They're looking at these people putting out music videos and being asked to do these radio interviews, these television appearances. If you're from Ireland or you're mixed background, or you mix that, mix that, embrace everything. Look at the Rusangano family uh, from Limerick. They're doing a hell of a job, man. Them guys are killing it right now. And they ain't, they ain't saying sorry to no one. And it's organic because what they do is, is phenomenal. And there's no denying it. And uh, they're not trying to be from the UK. They're not trying to be from America. They're just, you know, African people that came to Ireland. Now they're settling, settled in Ireland and they're doing their thing. So there's no point in trying to be from London. There's no point in trying. If Skepta. Professor Green, Stormzy, all these people were rapping in an American accent to cater to, say, just an American audience. They would have never blown up, ever. That was never gonna happen, you know? So all you gotta do is just look at them people and say, all right, even Ed Sheeran is a perfect example. Conor McGregor is the perfect example. He's not out here talking like an American or an English man or switching his flow up in a, any type of way. They're just Irish and they're just being themselves and they're repping where they're from. So as you said, Longitude and all these festivals this summer in Ireland, everything is urban acts, everything is urban, but it's often the UK, you know what I'm saying? It's all literally all the UK and the American artists that are being themselves and that people embrace. Culturally, for me being involved in this scene and seeing what's going on right now and all the people working, doing their thing, Ireland is, uh, Ireland's is a, it's, it's about to explode. It's just like a volcano, it's ready to erupt because the talent that we have, listen, it has to happen organically. I can't magically make it happen overnight. No one can make it magically happen overnight, but it's gonna come soon. Someone's gonna do something pretty, pretty big. And uh, yeah, we'll be here to document it. With the point, still stuck in this place of fire, waste is At a graveyard with a waiting line, same old lines. Fuck that, so we're creating mind to make it rhymes. God bless, can change my life. Getting older, realize that I'm a decade in it. This game, they really cuss for us, there's no way to win.